Hello everyone, it's Mom Steph right here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell down below so you will be updated to my future tutorials. The third method of solving quadratic equation is solving by completing the square. And before you master solving quadratic equations by completing the square, we should first understand perfect square trinomials and how to complete the square using algebra tiles. And this is what this video is all about. So let's start! Okay, so let me introduce you with the algebra tiles first. So the algebra tiles that we'll be needing are these tiles. So first, we have x square tile. So, bakit x square? Kasi from this point to this point, or this side right here, is side x. And then, yung kabilang side naman, or this length, is also x. Okay? So, masasabi natin square siya. That's why, getting the area of this tile is x square. Kaya, this tile represents our x square tile. Then we have the next tile, which is the x tile. So for the x tile, the length of this side right here is 1. And then of course, this side is x. Kaya the area of this tile is 1 times x. So this tile represents our x tile. And then we also have a tile that represents positive 1. And... We have negative x square. We also have the negative x tile and the negative 1 tile. So these tiles will be used later on as we proceed to our discussion. So now here is a question. Why are perfect square trinomials called perfect squares? Kasi palagi natin naririnig perfect square trinomial. Bakit nga ba perfect square siya? And algebra tiles will help us answer this question. So let's take a look at this perfect square trinomial x squared plus 4x plus 4. So to represent this perfect square trinomial, we will be needing the algebra tiles. So ibig sabihin, we will represent this perfect square trinomial using the algebra tiles. So for this trinomial, I will be needing x squared. Kasi we have x squared in a term. So this represents the x squared term here. And then we have 4x. So that means apat na x. Okay, so I have... 4x tiles arranged in this manner. So just divide 4 by 2. So each side will have 2 sides or 2 tiles. And then 4. 4 represents 4 1 tiles. 4 pieces of 1 tile is arranged this way. So as I arrange the algebra tiles, the tiles form a perfect square. Okay, and only perfect square trinomials form this way using algebra tiles. And that's why perfect square trinomials are called perfect squares. So algebra tiles are not only used in representing polynomials. It is also used in factoring. So to factor this perfect square trinomial using algebra tiles, we do it this way. We get the length of each side of this square. So to get the length of this side right here, we know that the length of the first square, itong pink na tile, is x plus the length of this side of the x tiles right here. So this is 1 plus 1, that means 2. So the whole side measures x plus 2. Okay, And since this is a square, the other side also measures x, Okay, this side, and this side is 1 plus 1, and that is still so now, the factor of x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 2. And since magapareho lang to, in short, this perfect square trinomial can be factored x plus 2 raised to the second power. So solving quadratic equations by completing the square, this method is applicable for quadratic equations that are not factorable, and quadratic equations that do not have a perfect square trinomial. So, it's either quadratic equations na binomial, pwede rin siyang quadratic equation na trinomial. So, our goal in using this method of solving quadratic equation is to create a perfect square trinomial out from the given quadratic equation. 
tayo yung gagawa ng perfect square trinomial. And since marunong na din tayo mag-factor ng perfect square trinomial, kaya magiging mas madali yung pagsasolve natin. Okay? So, let's try. So, as our first example, we solve x square minus 4x plus 1 equals 0 by completing the square. Paano gawin? Okay, first, we are going to need these tiles right here. Bakit? So, x square will represent this x square right here. And then, itong apat na negative x tiles will represent negative 4x. And this one tile will represent plus 1. So, ayan, we will arrange the tiles now, okay, in that manner. So, this arrangement or this figure represents our quadratic equation given. Ito, x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. But, as you can see, hindi buo yung square. So, ilang one tile ba ang kailangan natin para mabuo ang perfect square trinomial? Kasi hindi to perfect square eh. So, we need 3. So, as you can see, we added 3 1 tiles. So, in our solution, our given is we have x squared minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. And to create a perfect square trinomial, we added 3 tiles. So, since we added 3 tiles, gagawin din natin yan sa equation natin. So, in our solution, we have x squared minus 4x plus 1 and plus 3 kasi we added 3 tiles equals 0 and since we need to balance the equation we need to apply addition property of equality so we have plus 3 to the other side as well and then to continue our solution we have for this side we have x square minus 4x 1 plus 3 is positive 4 equals 3 so, our resulting equation now is x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 3 after we added 3 positive 1 tiles. So, as you can see, the left-hand side is already a perfect square trinomial. Now, to solve this further, we need to factor the perfect square trinomial on the other side of our equation, which is x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, if you can still remember, gagawin natin yung ginawa natin pag-factor. So, this side right here is x, and this side is negative 1 plus another negative 1. So, this whole side is x minus 2. And ganun din sa kabilang side. This is also x and then minus 2. Kaya, the factor of this perfect square trinomial is x minus 2 times x minus 2 equals 3. Or, x minus 2 squared equals 3. Okay? And to solve it further, we need to eliminate this power. So, if you can still remember, in uh, solving quadratic equation by extracting the roots, merong example tayo na kagaya nito. So, after factoring, if we can see our resulting equation this way, we will apply extracting the square roots. Okay? So, to extract the square roots... We need to put a radical sign to both sides, extracting the square root of both sides. And this will be cancelled out. Therefore, we are left with x minus 2 on this side. And this side becomes positive and negative square root of 3. And then to get the value of x, we have x equals positive and negative square root of 3 plus... 2, okay? Kasi, we transferred 2 to the other side of our equation. So, as you can see, meron tayong dalawang roots dito or dalawang solution kasi may positive at saka negative. Kaya, ang ibig sabihin nito, we have x sub 1 or the first root which is positive 3 plus 2 and our second root is negative square root of 3 plus 2. 
sorry for my penmanship. So now let's proceed to another example, which is solve x squared plus 10 equals 6x by completing the square. Okay, so to be able to know if our quadratic equation is a perfect square trinomial, we need to set our quadratic equation first into its standard form. Okay, so ang standard form niyan is x squared minus 6x plus 10 equals 0. Bakit? Because we need to transfer 6x to the other side of the equation and this side becomes 0 just like what we did here. And then from positive, naging negative siya. So I'm going to need this tiles. Now let's take a look at our tiles. Okay, we have x squared to represent this term. And then we have 6 negative x tiles. Kasi may anim na negative x, which represents this term. Okay? So, arrange this way. So, the other 3 will be on this side. And then we have 10 1 positive 1 tiles. So, we will arrange that in this manner. So, as you can see, buo na yung square natin. But we still have 1 tile left. Okay? So, if we're going to add the other or the remaining tile, it won't be a perfect square anymore. So, to be able to have a perfect square, kailangan nating mag-add ng negative 1 tile. Kasi, pag nag-add tayo ng negative 1 tile, that is 0. So, ibig sabihin, mawawala yung sobrang tile. Kaya, we can now have our perfect square. So, this tiles first represents our quadratic equation. But since we need to eliminate this remaining tile, that's why we added negative 1 tile. So, anong mangyayari sa equation natin dyan? So, instead na, from the original, we have x squared minus 6x plus 10, we will have minus 1. Because we added a negative 1 tile. And then, that will be equal to 0 minus 1. Okay, to balance our equation. So, to proceed, the resulting equation will be x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals negative 1. So, as you can see, this side becomes a perfect square trinomial now. Okay? So, itong tiles na to, this represents this trinomial on the left-hand side of our resulting equation. And then to proceed, we need to factor. So to factor our quadratic equation, we have x for this side, and then tatlong negative tiles, so this will be negative 3. And then same with this side, that's x minus 3. Therefore, the factors of this perfect square trinomial is x minus 3 and x minus 3 equals negative 1. Tapos, we have x minus 3 squared equals negative 1. Okay? And then to solve this, we need to apply extracting the roots. Okay, so we have that one right there. So, canceling this out, we are left with x minus 3 on this side. But, take note that we don't have a square root of a negative number. That's why our answer should be no real solution. Kasi, we don't have a square root of a negative number number. Pag negative yung number na nasa loob ng square root, automatically the answer would be no real solution. Now for the third example, we have x squared plus 6x minus 2 equals 0 and solve it by completing the square. So we have this equation and we will be needing these tiles. Okay, and we should arrange the tiles. We have x squared and then anim na x tiles and we have dalawang negative 1 tiles. Now, take note that para makabuo tayo ng perfect square trinomial, ito yung pattern niya. The second term pwedeng maging negative. Okay, kagaya nung previous example natin. 
but the third term should not be negative. It is always positive. So, ang nangyari dito sa example na to, yung third term natin or yung constant term is a negative number. And kailangang mawala. So, ang gagawin natin is we are going to add two positive one tiles para mawala ang dalawang negative one tile kasi this is already zero. Okay? So, for our solution, we have x square plus 6x minus 2 plus 2 because of the two positive one tiles that we added equals 0 and then plus 2 to balance our equation. Next, we'll simplify. So we have x squared plus 6x. This now becomes 0. So wala na siya dyan. Therefore, this is now equal to positive 2. So, since nawala na yung negative tiles natin, so, this tiles right here represents x squared plus 6x. But, take note, it is still not a perfect square. We still need to add positive 1 tiles to have a perfect square trinomial. Now, the question is, ilang positive 1 tiles ba ang kailangan natin i-add? And that would be, how many? That would be 9. Okay? So, that happens in our equation, x squared plus 6x, we should also add plus 9 equals 2 plus 9. Okay? So, na-add natin yung positive 9 to both sides. So, notice that this is now a perfect square trinomial. And to proceed, we need to factor this using our algebra tiles. The length of this side is x, and the length of this side is 3. That's why we have positive 3. Okay? Same with the other side. The length of this is x, and the length of this is positive 3. Okay? Therefore, the factors of this perfect square trinomial, we have x plus 3 times x plus 3 equals 11. Okay? Or, x plus 3 squared equals 11. And to get our root, getting the square root of both sides, what is left on this side is x plus 3 equals positive and negative square root of 11. And to get the value of x, we need to transfer positive 3 to the other side of our equation. So we have x equals positive and negative square root of 11 minus 3. And this means we have two solutions, which are x sub 1 equals positive 11 minus 3, and the other solution, x sub 2, is the negative square root of 11 minus 3. And that's the end of this video. I hope you have learned something new today. And to learn more on solving quadratic equations by completing the square, you may watch the next part of this tutorial where I discuss the step-by-step -step method on solving quadratic equations by completing the square using the formula.